Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this video, we will be learning the easiest mnemonics to find or to remember all the elements that is present in cranial fossa. If you know what is cranial fossa, you can directly go to this duration. If you don't know where it is cranial fossa, just follow me. I will give a brief introduction for you. If you take skull, it will be divided into three compartments. First compartment is known as anterior corneal fossa. Middle compartment is called as middle cranial fossa. Last com posterior compartment is called as posterior cranial fossa. This is posterior cranial fossa, middle cranial fossa, anterior cranial fossa. Okay. Now what we will be learning? In this, you will be having many elements like cribriform plate, foramen calcium. So like this, you will be having many things here, here. I will be giving a simple example or simple uh, mnemonics to remember these words very easily. So this is what the video is about. Now let's begin with anterior cranial fossa. So what is anterior cranial fossa? I will be writing like this ACF. First, uh, let me write what are the elements that are present in anterior cranial fossa. The four elements that are present in anterior cranial fossa are cribriform plate, cribriform plate, foramen caseum, foramen caseum, then anterior ethmoidal foramen anterior ethmoidal foramen then finally you will be having posterior ethmoidal foramen so these are the um, four things that present in anterior cranial fossa now let me explain you with the diagram so this one is called as anterior cranial fossa here you will be having cribriform plate here you will be having foramen caseum here you will be having anterior ethmoidal fossa here you will be having posterior ethmoidal fossa so now comes the mnemonics the easiest mnemonic to remember this is just remember this word guys crying crying for crying for cool ant-man who is ant-man avenger so cool ant-man post ant-man post in fb so in fb will be crying for a cool ant-man post okay this is the mnemonic then how can we remember from this okay crying from crying you can write cribriform plate from for cool you can write for foramen cool caseum over then antman post anterior and posterior f um, ethmoidal f foramen anterior ethmoidal foramen p posterior ethmoidal foramen that's it so i hope you enjoyed this and uh, it will be very easy to remember anterior cranial fossa now anterior cranial fossa is over guys if you want uh, if you take cribriform plate it will be having many structures in it and in exam even this will be asked if you want mnemonics for even that uh, contents just kindly subscribe my channel so that you can learn even that if this uh, video goes uh, beyond 50 views i will post new video about that okay now let's move on to posterior sorry middle cranial fossa since uh, among three cranial fossa middle cranial fossa is quite um, not harder quite different or you can say quite complex okay uh, in in uh, middle cranial fossa you will be having these things guys so i will be writing here in an order middle cranial fossa in middle cranial fossa you will be having superior orbital fissure okay don't worry i will explain this i mean i will make this very very easy for you then optic canal superior orbital fissure then optic canal then foramen laserum just remember laserum okay foramen laserum then you will be having uh, foramen uh, just f for foramen foramen rotundum then you will be having foramen oval foramen oval finally you will be having foramen spinosum so this is what i said it will be a little critical uh, as it has more names that's it okay now let me explain these thing in a diagram for you so here you will be having anterior ethmoidal fossa containing cribriform plate foramen caseum anterior ethmoidal fossa sorry anterior cranial fossa anterior ethmoidal fossa posterior ethmoidal fossa this will be a middle cranial fossa now we will be using a different color okay uh, i'll use red color guys first superior orbital fissure it will be present like here optic canal it will be present like here then foramen laserum it will be present uh, between uh, these two foramen laserum will be here then foramen rotundum will be here foramen oval will be here foramen spinosum will be here now i guess uh, you know everything now now let's go to a uh, jump directly to the mnemonics so the easiest mnemonic for this one is just remember this super orange lavender so super orange lavender super orange lavender rose super orange lavender super orange lavender rose that's it now let me explain you first this super super stand for superior orbital fissure o stands for optic canal l stand for foramen laserum r stand for foramen rotundum o stand for foramen oval s stand for foramen spinosum now e stand for that's it empty 
that's all guys i guess uh, you even enjoyed this middle cranial fossa part now let's move on to final part posterior cranial fossa part then it will be easier when compared to other parts okay what are the different components present in posterior cranial fossa first one is uh, okay let me even go this also in a simple manner posterior cranial fossa first one is internal acoustic meatus so from meatus or acoustic you can say it goes to ear okay internal acoustic meatus then we will be having jugular foramen so jugular foramen then we will be having like a mm, mm, what's that ah hypo hypofacial foramen sorry hypofacial canal hypofacial canal then finally we will be having like a foramen magnum i guess everyone know what is foramen magnum if you know just uh, pass the video and write it in the comment foramen magnum is a part where spinal cord emerges now let me show you in a diagram so here is a cranium here is a cranium anterior uh, anterior cranial fossa cribriform plate foramen cassium anterior ethmoidal fossa posterior ethmoidal fossa middle part optic canal uh, superior orbital fissure foramen rotundum foramen um, ovale foramen spinosum then foramen lacerum now finally we will be having this so one big um, okay let me put it in a red color this one big one is called sorry 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 this big one is called as foramen magnum here you will have another thing that is called as uh, hypofacial canal here you will be having ear here you will have one thing it will go to ear this one is called as internal acoustic meatus and another one foramen uh, almost present here only guys so this is called as jugular foramen now let's go to a uh, easiest mnemonic to understand this i will write it in a blue color so this will be more easy so mnemonic is i am a i am a jolly i am a jolly hyper fun man i am a jolly hyper fun man so this is the simple mnemonic to understand this okay now let me explain this for you so i am here stand for i stand for internal a stand for acoustic m stand for meatus so internal acoustic meatus is gone j stand for jugular foramen h stand for hypofacial canal finally f stand for foramen m stand for magnum here the foramen magnum is a part where spinal cord uh, emerges spinal cord and the vertebral column emerges so i hope you would have understand everything not understanding in sense you would have uh, got a clear cut idea to memorize everything so if you want anything like if you take a uh, uh, cribriform plate there is a structure like um, you will be having olfactory nerves passing through it if you take this one foramen uh, ovale you will be having like a ophthalmic uh, vein pass sorry uh, optic nerve passing through it if you want a mnemonic for the contents among uh, the present inside them kindly comment down below if this video gets just 50 subscribers not 50k guys just 50 subscribers i will immediately post a next video thank you for watching guys